This is Dr. Sam Sheikh, founder of 10pointwellness.com, where I teach you how to MacGyver your health using low-tech tools to have high impact. I practice here in New Zealand as a chiropractor, an acupuncturist, and functional neurologist. And uh, my goal here is to teach people how to become uh, self-sufficient with their health and wellness as easily and as cheaply as possible with the tools, everyday tools they have around their house. So we're going to cover in this video uh, the four main activities of Brain Gym. Now Brain Gym is a formal technique that uh, was developed by Dr. Paul Dennison. If you want more information, go to braingym.org, B-R-A-I-N-G-Y-M.org. Brain is in brain, gym is in going to the gym, so braingym.org. And this is how I got started in my trajectory on health and wellness, where I started seeing a brain gym consultant when I was 17. Uh, her name was Eliza Bergeson, and she, she radically transformed my life and put it in a much healthier direction to where I was going. And uh, then it inspired me so much that I actually went on to become a brain gym consultant myself when I was about 20, uh, probably one of the youngest in the States when I was certified. Uh, since then, I've, I've kind of continued on my education and became a chiropractor, acupuncturist, and went into neurology. But my, my roots began in brain gym. And so uh, I want to share with you the four main movements of brain gym that start a process and also help with transitions for your brain. Um, between activities. So the very first activity um, is drinking water. Uh, this is they call this is very positive in the brain gym world. Drinking water is part of their positive category. And then the second activity is called brain buttons, which is part of their um, active uh, category. And the way to do brain buttons uh, in the brain gym world is to wake up the brain is put one hand, one palm over the belly button, or even just below it, but just on the belly button. The other hand, you find your collarbone, which is the long bones here that uh, are where the neck begins, and then you drop underneath them, and then bring your fingers in till they stop at the two kind of grooves here, and this is your sternum, this is where your ribs attach. You go down from the collarbone and in till you hit the notches where the rib is below you and the collarbone is above you, and you rub and dig in there. It's probably pretty sore on most of you. And uh, that's okay, it'll go in time. And you just rub on this, and there's, there's a lot of reasons that this is uh, done. Uh, and uh, one is that it's on uh, kidney 27, which is uh, the end of the kidney channel in Chinese medicine. Um, just basically helps wake up your brain. Um, yeah, so this is this brain buttons can be done basically anywhere. Now the third activity is called cross crawl. Now the cross crawl is basically connecting any part of your right arm with any part of your left leg, and vice versa. Now, there's many ways to do this. You can do it kind of like Tai Chi style, you know, where it's all flowy-like. Or, or you can just kind of go through it. There's even a version you can go behind you like this. Here's a way not to do it, is just kind of, just kind of wimping through it. Now, you really want to cross over the midline. And this is important because it stimulates your spine by engaging a cross-crawl reflex, and if that stimulates your spine, it's going to stimulate your brain. So that's the third activity, uh, cross-crawl. The fourth activity is called uh, hookups, or, or cook's hookups, and uh, I prefer to call it uh, pretzel time, as one of my brain gym instructors, uh, Celia, mentioned. And so this is, uh, calls pretzel time because you look like a pretzel, and it's a great way to describe it to kids. You know, if you say, we're going to go into pretzel time, they get it. So how do you do pretzel time? Put your arms out in front of you, cross your wrists over each other, point your thumbs down, clasp, and pull in. Okay, so I'll do that again. Hands forward, cross, point down, clasp, pull in, and then you cross at the ankles. So you can do this sitting, you can do this standing, assuming you have a good balance. And this is very calming and very, very effective, especially with children who are acting out or feeling anxious or unsettled or agitated. And it's very good if you have two kids fighting with each other because then you can separate them and then have them both go into pretzel time. That way, A, they're not, you know, they can't keep going at each other, and B, they're, they're calming down. So this is the first half of pretzel time, as where you cross everything uh, at the midline. Then the second half is where you uncross the ankles, and then you uncross everything and connect the fingertips. Now, uh, the channels of Chinese medicine, they, 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 um, uh, begin and end, or 
half of them anyway, begin and end on the fingers. So uh, this is the second half, is to kind of help complete, complete that movement cycle. So again, with Brain Gym, uh, the four movements are A, or one rather, drinking water, two, brain buttons, three, cross crawl, and four, pretzel time. And there's two parts to it, you cross everything, and then you uncross the pretzel like that. This shouldn't take you more than a minute to two minutes, and it's a great way to help you transition mentally uh, between projects, activities, uh, in your day-to-day -day life. So again, if you want more information on that specifically, go to braingym.org. Uh, my website, 10pointwellness.com, has more tips on how to uh, MacGyver your health, not just on brain, but the other nine categories of wellness. And uh, if you haven't already, please go to my website and opt in to get your free ebook uh, on more low tech tips for, for better health and wellness. And feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you very much.